Welcome, I'm Morris Mohammed, and you're watching the English news program on Somaliland National Television. Let's start with the main stories making headlines. House of Elders ends the conflict in Hati Saleh district. Minister of Environment takes tour to rural areas in Marodicheh region. Over 96% of Crimea voters choose to join Russia. Members of Somaliland's House of Elders listened to the report of the committee appointed to end the conflict in Hachi Saleh district. The committee on the report stated that the conflict has been successfully resolved. Members of the committee spoke about the process of peacemaking they were sent to complete and clarified that the two parties that were previously in conflict has responded to the resolutions keeping on mind that minor conflicts as such need not be a threat to our stability and that peace is and will continue being the first priority to Somaliland's people. Chairman of Somaliland's House of Elders, Saleban Mahmoud Aden, praised the committee for the great job they did in making peace between the two sides earlier in conflict. Minister of Environment and Rural Development and officials from Peace Development Affairs Department for the Ministry of Interior briefed media about their tour to several districts in Marodicheh region. Highlighting the importance of protecting the environment, especially in rural areas, Minister of Environment and Rural Development Shukri Hat Ismail clarified that it's unacceptable that citizens possess illegal farms and water wells that do not serve the entire nation. During the interview, the minister praised the president of Somaliland's current tour around the country and described it as a step forward and predicted it will result in strengthening the nation's ties and will spread peace and love. The Minister of Environment stressed on the importance of legalizing farms owned by citizens and following the ministry's regulations also stated. It's healthier for rural environment to not have fences in between farms to allow the livestock to eat and live freely without any barriers. And we respect the residents of these districts for keeping things simple, looking after their livestock and the environment. Minister of Environment and Rural Development Shukri Hachi Ismail Bandere eventually elaborated on the significance of keeping our environment safe and free from boundaries that threaten and harming our livestock. Somaliland Speaker of the House of Representatives Abdurrahman Abdullahi Irra received warm welcome from the Somaliland diaspora residing in Riyadh during a work-related visit to Saudi Arabia. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Abdurrahman Abdullahi Irra, speaking at a host ceremony held by the Somaliland diaspora in Saudi Arabia, commended the Somaliland citizens in Saudi Arabia for the warm welcome they provided and expressed his delight for the cooperative efforts by the community. Somaliland Speaker of the House of Representatives addressed the underlying necessity of cooperation amongst the community and amplifying efforts towards further progress for Somaliland. The Speaker of the House of Representatives informed the diaspora community about the achievements made by citizens residing in Somaliland and the prospect of more progress sought to be reached. The Speaker concluded his keynote speech with hopes of continued progress for Somaliland citizens both at home and abroad, particularly the Somaliland diaspora in Saudi Arabia. Mayor of Hergesa City expressed his appreciation to the president of Somaliland's tour to the regions of Somaliland. The mayor of the capital city of Somaliland, Abdurrahman Mahmoud Aidid, welcomed and praised the president of Somaliland, Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silanio, for taking the initiative of visiting the regions of Somaliland. The mayor, speaking to Somaliland National Television, elaborated on the significance of maintaining cooperation between the government of Somaliland and its people. Abdurrahman Solteko mentioned that the ongoing project that the president witnessed during his tour is a step towards progress and another achievement of President Silayo's government. 
On the other hand, the mayor of Hargeisa briefed the media about his trip to Djibouti and the overall outcome of that trip. Abdurrahman Solteko, explaining the objective of that trip, stated that this trip was focusing on twinning the two capital cities, Hargeisa and Djibouti. He also added that Somaliland and Djibouti's governments share a long-lasting relationship. Abdurrahman Solteko told reporters of Somaliland National Television that the mayor of Djibouti is expected to visit Somaliland on May. Djibouti is a very close friend and recognized by the international community for their hard work and we are grateful for their cooperation, the mayor concluded. Residents of the capital, Hargeisa, expressed admiration to the historic visit of the Somaliland president, Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silanio, to the eastern regions, particularly the coastal city of Las Qare. Hodan Abd Ali, a resident of the capital of Somaliland, expressed her feeling toward this historic visit by the president to eastern regions of Somaliland, a visit which many Somaliland citizens described as one of the further understanding the living conditions of all the people in the area, as the president is responsible for monitoring the situation throughout the country. She stated that it is a success for the Somaliland citizens and for the government so that citizens should not succumb to their accomplishments and that citizens ought to cooperate hand in hand with the government to ensure that many objectives were brought to fruition. It is the first time Somaliland president pays visit to Las Corre and plays a foundation stone at the port of Las Corre for renovation efforts announced to be underway. It's likely to take the region forward and the port city as well. We must stand shoulder to shoulder with our government, said another president. The president's visit of Las Corre shows the Somaliland government's commitment and dedication to ensuring excellence in serving the citizens, as well as regularly monitoring the situation in a number of key areas throughout Somaliland. We want our president to continue such a progress. This has posted our moral and we want his success. The government's objectives are ours and its achievement is to trigger our delight, said a young man. Nonetheless, the citizens' expression of their feelings as delight for the progress made thus far by the government and the historic visit the president paid to the port city of Las Corre, located in the far eastern region of Baran. This was not the first visit by the president to the eastern regions of Somaliland. On the contrary, the president continues to visit all regions and districts of the country with aims of furthering progress in all regions and districts. President of Somaliland, Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silayo, has recently paid visits to a number of key cities and regions including Seila, Barbara and Las Corre. Still the president continues his visit and it is expected the president to visit a number of another cities of Somaliland for the initiation of several development projects. You're still tuned into the English news program on Somaliland National Television and now for the international headlines in detail. <music> The votes in Crimea's referendum have been counted. A complete preliminary ballot count showed that 96.77 voters have elected to join Russia. The chairman of the Regional Government Commission overseeing the referendum said on Monday. Over 96% of Crimea voters choose to join Russia. Mikhail Malyshev said the number of voters of the Crimea referendum is 1,274,96 persons which is a turnout of 83%. The vote and Russian troops intervention in Crimea have triggered the worst East-West -East crisis since the Cold War. Crimean Prime Minister Sergei Aksinov's Regional Assembly arranged the election, which is not recognized by Kiev because it doesn't consider the vote legitimate. Russia's finance minister said on Monday Moscow may offer a special tax regime for Crimea. Thanks for watching. That's the end of our news. You can catch us tomorrow at the same time. Take care.